What's up, guys? I'm Mike from Stocked Up, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. The market went absolutely crazy today. Uh, stocks like Apple were up over 6%. Uh, the market overall had an amazing day. Uh, the SPY is up about 1.6%, uh, and the NASDAQ really led the way, and it's up over 3% today. So uh, there's a lot of things going on in the market for this week. Uh, we're heading into earnings season. We're heading into the election. And we have two huge events tomorrow. Uh, one of them is Amazon Prime Day. And the second event is Apple's iPhone uh, showcase event thing. So uh, that's obviously going to be on our, uh, our eye. That's what we're going to be watching for tomorrow. So there's a lot of things going on in the market right now. Uh, so make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to hear all the plays for this week and all the news that happened in the market today. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe to see our videos on your YouTube homepage every single day. But let's get right into it. So Tom, what happened in the market today? Yeah, the big thing was that Apple flew up over 6%. And this was a crazy move as we head into this event tomorrow. And the event will start at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And they're going to be unveiling the new iPhone 12, the new mini iPhone, and some other stuff with their iPads and just some more technology. So this is going to be a nice event for them tomorrow. And they're really scheduled to un unveil a lot of stuff about those new iPhones. And that's really been the big excitement for everybody is when will they unveil their iPhones? And I know that they had an event a little while ago where they were going to unveil the iPhones. And then they decided to actually wait until this event. So, um, you know, that last event, didn't gain too much traction. So hopefully um, this one can actually um, stay green after the event because there's a lot of people looking to hold calls and really get into this. And it, while it is very risky, so I really just hope that you know the market can stay green and Apple can stay green after that event at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, just one thing to keep in mind when trading events, kind of like uh, this iPhone event, is there's a lot of hype that's built uh, like built up in anticipation of this event. So uh, if you guys were around for when Battery Day was announced a little while ago, uh, that event was so hyped up. And when Tesla uh, had their Battery Day, like they presented great technology, but there was just so much hype already built into the event where the stock actually fell. So keep in mind that you know Apple can reveal some great things about their new iPhones and the stock can still fall. So just keep that in mind, you know, just because they uh, showcase brand new technology and great advancements, that does not necessarily mean that their stock price will shoot up. Yeah, um, there could be tons of factors. Like a lot of, one of the biggest factors has been the price of the phones. I know that they're set to actually release one of the phones that are lower in price, but a lot of people are starting to get upset with, you know, paying $1,500 for these brand new phones. True, right? But it benefits Apple though. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a very strong company. So I'm actually very excited to see what they uh, unveil tomorrow or uh, what they showcase tomorrow. So what else happened in the market today? Yeah, Amazon Prime Day is, is going to be hitting tomorrow as well. Um, CNBC reports that Amazon Prime Day is expected to hit an all-time record and retailers big and small are looking to participate in that energy with their own online deals, said Robbie Ohms, a discount retail analyst for Bank of America Securities. Retailers will use technology to try to manage their supply chains and smooth out the customer experience during a tougher um, to predict holiday season. So this is going to be a hard to predict season, but just keep in mind that Amazon is expected to break records and you can see that their stock is already going up in anticipation of this event. And I really think that Amazon is going to be one of the big winners from, um, you know, from this event or from um, an event in general. I think that they have more of a chance to go up than Apple would off of their event just because Amazon sells a ton of products. And if they do break those records, that'll just be fantastic. And But obviously, just keep in mind, though, that if they don't break those records and they're expected to, that'll be a tough hit on Amazon. Yeah, so you're kind of saying like how everything with COVID, like Amazon really benefited uh, from this pandemic because, you know, people were forced to stay in their homes and, and order online, right? So Amazon obviously is like the best company to uh, for that scenario, right? So Amazon has had an amazing year and I wouldn't be surprised if we do beat the records 
But like I just said a couple minutes ago, uh, just because um, like a company beats records or um, you know provides great advancements in their technology, that doesn't necessarily mean the stock price will shoot up. So you know if they smash records, then they can definitely shoot up. But just keep in mind, there's a lot of anticipation and expectations already priced in for this event. So they kind of have to beat the expectations kind of like how like an earnings release is or like even like a jobs report. So uh, was there any other news that happened in the market today? Yeah, there was some pretty big news in the oil sector. Actually, we can see crude oil was down about 3% today. And whenever we look on a 15 minute chart, going back to last Friday, they were at around 41.50 and now they're sitting around 39.50. So, you know, a couple points down, that's not too bad for oil, but um, it's they're actually going down because there was a hurricane um, in the Gulf of Mexico, and a lot of the um, oil producers out there had to actually um, cut production during that time. And now they're actually opening production again, which is what actually drove the price down today. And there's a few other things going on, like a Norwegian oil strike has been ended, and the lifting of a force majeure at Libya's largest oil field has also contributed um, to this um, increase in oil production, which is driving the price down right now. Yeah, so great commodities coverage there. I know not too many people were looking at oil uh, recently because uh, it just had a crazy 2020 and it's kind of just not really moving too much uh, for the past couple months. Oil has been in this, I would say this $10 range for the past, what is that, past four or five months. So oil has been kind of boring lately besides uh, when their prices actually went negative a couple months ago. But um, any other news that happened today? Nope, not, not anything too big. Just the big stuff is Amazon Prime Day and that Apple event tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, so definitely have your eyes on Apple and Amazon for tomorrow. So now let's get into our Discord member of the day. So today's Discord member of the day is slow and steady. So this person is always providing great insights for the Discord chat, always, you know, always helping other members, sharing great plays, and just being a great member overall. So huge shout out to slow and steady for everything you do in the Stocked Up Discord chat. So if you guys want to join the chat, you can click the first link in the description down below. But now let's get into our momentum plays for tomorrow. The first one is Apple. So it's up about 6.5% today. Um, obviously, it does have its iPhone event tomorrow. So Tom, what levels should we be watching? Yeah, make them go ahead and pop above 125.18. And just keep in mind that the iPhone event is going to be in the afternoon. So you can, you can kind of uh, play the options in the morning and not really be too affected by that event until, you know, the afternoon comes around. Awesome. So we are eyeing Apple to the upside only if it breaks above the level Tom listed. With the next play, we are looking at Uber, U-B-E-R, but this one is to the downside. Yeah, make this one fall below the $36 even mark which was the low a few days ago, and that's a pretty good support. Awesome. And then again, to the downside, and then uh, to the upside, we are looking at JD. JD, make them go ahead and pop above 85.40, which was their high of today. All right. And then last but not least, we are looking at Facebook FB. Facebook, make them hit 280.20. Awesome. So we are eyeing uh, Apple, JD, and Facebook to the upside, and Uber to, to the downside only if they can break the levels Tom listed. And these are all for quick little in and out day trades. So now for the unusual options activity for tomorrow, and we are looking at the Apple 130 strike call options that expire this Friday, October 16th. There was over $15 million put into this play today. Uh, in yesterday's video, we were looking at the Apple 120 strike calls. So if we look back at those, um, those are up about 290% right now. So oh, man, he's happy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so unusual options activity is a little tricky because we know that someone's putting $15 million into the Apple 130 strike calls that expire this week. We just don't know if they're long the options or shorting them. So, uh, you know, if you long an option, you want the options value to go up. If you short it, you want it to go down. So, Considering we are only about $5 out of the money on this option, and we had a $7.50 move today, 
I mean, it really looks like they are longing these, these, uh, these options right here. So um, nothing is ever guaranteed, but right now it's really looking like uh, the smart money behind this play is longing the options, meaning that they want Apple to go up. What do you think? Yeah, I really like this. It was cool to see yesterday how, um, how they also had unusual options. And then this morning, whenever pre-market happened, Apple really popped. And that gave me kind of a, not a, not a, a for sure sign, but it gave me a little bit of a, um, an advantage whenever the market opened. I kind of thought that Apple might run up um, because I saw that unusual options that we had mentioned. And then whenever you see that pre-market movement and you see it pop like that, that that's what gives you the, uh, the confirmation that you might actually see a, a pop off of that unusual option because he bought millions of dollars worth of the 120 calls whenever Apple was like 116 and it popped all the way to 119 pre-market. So it was just a good indicator there. And I really think that Apple could also continue running up into this event. I'm not saying it's going to run once the event actually happens, but I think that if Apple breaks 125.18, they were definitely longing these uh, these calls once again. Awesome. So now let's get into our comments from the previous episode. And we have Ethan saying thoughts on DraftKings stock. It went down by a lot a few days ago for some reason. So let's take a look. Uh, DKNZ. All right, this stock is actually up about 3.6% today, but I definitely see what you mean, Ethan. Uh, they definitely had a decent sized pullback, and a lot of it is just to like it. it DraftKings has had an amazing year. They went from $17.60 all the way up to over $64 since April. So they've just had such a high, just like powerful run up that you have to pull back a little bit sometimes. So in the long term, I really like DraftKings. Um, in the short term, uh, we are heading into elections and earnings season, so there's a lot of volatility ahead. But for the long term, I really like them. And I'm just looking at this little dip here as a little pullback. What do you think? Yeah, Credit Suisse actually upgraded them to $76 per share today with an outperform rating. And that, that was pretty nice to see that they had an upgrade there. And there's just been a big um, upgrade or a big increase in sports betting lately. And I've been seeing a couple of articles over the past couple of days saying, that lately there's been an increase as well. And that, that must have to do with um, the MLB playoffs and the NBA playoffs all going on at the same time. So it's just really nice to see that um, DraftKings has done well, but I really hope that they can pull back over the next couple of weeks. Awesome. And then we had, uh, we had Eddie saying, uh, I'm personally buying Apple puts on Tuesday. I bet people will be taking profits and there will be a huge sell-off that day. So always trust your gut. You know, always trust your gut. Uh, just one thing that I've learned in the past is when stocks like Apple have momentum and are running up big, uh, sometimes they can continue for a week or even longer. Like I remember it wasn't, it wasn't even too long ago. It was Amazon. They had a crazy run up. It was like 20% in one week. I think it might, it, let me see where it was. It was a huge run up. I don't remember the exact date, but they had like a 20% run up or 15% or just a huge run up in one week. And you were just thinking to yourself, like, all right, this thing has to slow down soon, but it just kept going up and up and up. So just be careful because when these, like, especially tech stocks and tech stocks have momentum, they definitely have the power to go for a couple of days or even a week or two. So just keep that in mind. Um, we have E saying thoughts on LMND. It boomed on Friday. So let's take a look. LMND. So this is lemonade. So uh, this is an insurance company that recently IPO'd. Um, obviously, well, actually, like most IPOs recently, um, they actually ran up on the IPO, and now they're starting to pull back. So it looks like they're uh, starting to like stabilize a little bit. What do you think of this stock, Tom? Yeah, it looks like it looks really interesting on an intraday chart. They are kind of going flat today, but with how much of a run they've had the past few days, um, that's kind of expected. On a yearly chart, it looks like they are starting to kind of come back up, but um, I would really make them break this resistance. It seems around $70. It seems they've hit off that in the past and went down or up a couple of times. So I would really look at that $70 level as a uh, pretty good resistance. Awesome. So Tom, with that being said, do you have any last minute stocks, options, or any insight for the market for tomorrow? Yeah, the big thing I'm going to watch for tomorrow is Disney. I actually heard they just popped in after hours. You can see it's a pretty nice pop around 4% from 125 up to 131. And this was on news 
that they're going to be reorganizing their content division to focus on streaming. And that's what Market Watch just reported. And it's it's breaking news. So you can see that they're actually running right now. And um, you know, th that's pretty good news that they're going to focus on streaming. There's been some streaming companies that have definitely outperformed Disney this year, kind of like Roku. If we go look at Roku, they're another streaming service. You can see they've really outperformed Disney this year. And it seems like Disney's trying to really get into that market. And they also just look like they're primed to pop. They bounced off of this support I've had at around the $120 mark. And it just looks like a pretty bullish setup right now, especially with the rise in after hours today. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the comments on the previous episode. Comments really help grow the channel and we're just under 30,000 subscribers. So uh, we really appreciate all the comments, likes, and new subscribers. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe to see our daily videos on your YouTube homepage every single day. And if you guys want to try out the options day trading bot, you can click the stocked up options alerts link in the description down below. And if you guys have any comments, let us know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.